Quality Records, launched in 1949, was one of the first post-war independent record companies in Canada. Initially, Quality licensed American recordings for distribution in the Great White North. In Canada, there were no major labels at the time, and Quality Records was a distributor and manufacturer. They had a plant on Birchmount, and that's where I worked. Quality was, you know, Canada's number one label for many years. At 380 Birchmount, we had pressing facilities, we had an art department, we could master records. You could do everything in one building, which those days are long, long gone. In 1954, Quality hired George Keane from the U.S. as general manager. George's son, Barry, later worked at Quality with his father. He was one of the, if not the first, man in Canada who was signing major record deals with, uh, with foreign labels, especially U.S. labels like Buddha and Bell Records and Mercury and a and He was definitely a pioneer. From the late 1950s until well into the 70s, Quality was the hottest label in Canada with hit after hit on the record charts. I remember being in the office one day and George Struth bringing in a chart, might have been the Billboard Hot 100 and saying, George, we have 55% of the Hot 100. So for a long time, Quality had at least half or more of all the records coming out in Canada. After achieving national success with the Bowmarks in the early 60s, Quality struck gold in 1965 when they took a chance on a Winnipeg group called Chad Allen and the Expressions. Quality's George Struth found the group a catchier name, the Guess Who. Chad Allen had put out three or four singles um, in the 60s and they covered Shaken All Over by Johnny Kidd and the Pirates and they wanted to have everyone assume that it was a British invasion band. So as opposed to sending out the record with Chad Allen on it, George Struth got a pen and put Guess Who on a white label with a question mark and mailed it out to all the radio stations. Quality record success lasted for several decades, but like many other independent record companies of the time, Quality finally faltered. Ed LeBuick worked at Quality at the end. Quality was 50 years and then Quality was a publicly traded company, but it overexpanded into other territories and ran out of money. And frankly, it was where I was gonna spend the rest of my career. But there was no more money. Biggest disappointment of my life is when Quality went down. I mean, it was a great success story and it should still be here today, but it's not.